All right, guys, I tried to film a video at this same exact pond yesterday, but all I wanted to throw was a buzz bait, and they weren't really hitting it. I'm going to show one clip. I got one good fish. It's going to be right now. Now. There we go. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, she just sucked it up. I started reeling it super slow. I changed up the tactic, and it's a giant. Oh yeah, that's a freaking toad. That's a toad on the buzz bait. There we go. Oh my, barely hooked right in the top of the mouth. That thing has the head of a five pounder, but she's kind of skinny. I'd say she's probably a little bit under four pounds. But that's a giant fish on the buzz bait, man. That was right in the bank. But we're gonna go try again. I'm not gonna throw a buzz bait at all. We're gonna throw some some Texas rigs, maybe a shaky head. I'm here. He's. I haven't seen him in like a month. We're ready to go. We're ready. To yeah. Go. So we're gonna go try to catch some fish. Oh my gosh! The thing hit it at the bank. I was swimming it. There you go. First fish. We've been here for like five minutes. It's a good one. <laughs> On the shaky head, man. A little finesse one on him. Two something. Yeah. He's a good one. Come here, Papa. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, probably two and a quarter. While I was doing, throwing that little zoom finesse worm on that shaky head. This is the same thing I was doing at Lake Sarah, like I was telling you guys. Just dragging it right along that rock pile. He smoked it. Sweet fish. Good release on it. Now we got to catch like a four pounder. Awesome. I got the sauce right here. Got him? Is that a big one? You're fighting it weird. What are you doing? Oh, that's a big one. No way. Oh my god. Oh, did he? It's a giant. He just spit up your worm. Oh. Oh, oh my, oh my god. god. What? <laughs> Dude. Was it not fighting at first? No, it wasn't. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> That's a oh freaking toad. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> oh my god, dude. What? <laughs> That's a giant. <laughs> Look at that fish. I, I thought he was like a two pounder. <laughs> you must have been right. got a scale. No. You going? I don't have my bag. It's okay. He's probably like. It's gotta be about five. About That's just five. about. Yeah, just about. <laughs> That's batty, huh? On the Texas rig. Holy anyway, get in the. Uh, I told you he was gonna eat that worm. <laughs> Damn, That's awesome. Yeah, awesome. Man, he picked it up, I said hook, and then he must have just shot right at me. Yeah. I was you you really didn't look that big, and then I just yeah. jumped, and, and I was like, oh my god. He turned on me, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> That's the kind of fish we're looking for. We got a one pounder, a two pounder, and then and that. And Bessie. <laughs> <laughs> got him? Is it a big one? Yes. <laughs> yes. Can you fight it like a normal person? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's not as big. But he's still nice. Wow. Why do you keep running up the bank? Me? Yeah. Cause like, I set the hook with so much slack cause I suck. Look how white he is. Yeah, that's a deep fish. He's in like 10 feet of water. That was right in the middle, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It's not big. Yeah. yeah, no, he's just fighting like crazy. Jesus, he's like a pound. <laughs> They're really cool out here. I know. Yeah, now that uh, phone call just like ruined that entire clip, probably, but it's all good. I think fall like a three pounder at least. That's ridiculous. We're essentially ledge fishing right now. We're fishing like 10 feet of water. I'm throwing a shaky head. He's throwing a Texas rig with that uh, curl tail on it. And we're fishing just a nice little rock ledge at a pond. We're, we're ledge fishing a pond right now. It's pretty great. It's okay. <laughs> trying to film a... Doing it differently.
And it's a big one, I think. Dude, I have my rod in my hand. Oh, it's not a giant, but it's sweet. I was like, man, my line was, I cast it in there, my line was just moving. I thought, I didn't know what was happening. Dude, look how dark he is. Compared to all the other fish in the pond, because he was sitting right up in that creek, that little pocket. Yeah, that, that it's literally an inch deep right there, and he was just sitting right on that drain. That's, that's a, pretty, that's a, a nicer one. Yeah, that is like a, almost two pounds, probably. It's because I always, there's so many bait fish sitting in front of that drain, he was probably just gorging himself. But look at that, it doesn't look like it's from the same pond. Look at those colors on that fish. Oh, here we go. It's not that big. It just hit it real weird. It's all, it is all right. Okay, okay. He wants to come on the bank. He wants to be in the video. Here, come on. There we go. That's probably a nice, another two pounder. Right in the side of the face with that, uh, What is, this is a Berkeley Havoc, right? Yeah, it's a bottom hopper. Berkeley Havoc bottom hopper and June bug. And just crawling it along those rocks, this thing smoked it. Anything to add? Nice fish, man. There we go. <laughs> we got him. Five pounder right there. I'm calling it. I'm gonna catch one right there, yeah. Yeah. Got one out right now. Why would I lift it up? I don't think it's a five pounder, but. Yeah, maybe it is. No. Oh my gosh. I love, no, it's all right. I love catching them on the spinning rod though. It's like a two something again. No, he's like a pound and a half maybe. Dude, on the spinning rod though, it's beautiful. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth perfectly. Oh, there he goes. That's, that's how you want to release them guys. Perfect. That's a big one. That's a giant. That's a giant. That's a giant. That's a giant, buddy. It's got to be a giant. <laughs> Dude, it's got to be. Whatever it is, it's huge. It's just heavy. Oh, my gosh. Dude, this is. It's a catfish. It's No, it's fighting like a bass. It feels massive. Yeah, but it's not jumping. That's true. Dude, oh, my. Dude, it's just beeline. I know. Oh my God! What is it? Oh that looks my. like a bass. It, it's fighting like a bass, but it's not jumping. Oh, oh. my God! What is it? What are you? What is it? Is it a bass? It's not even that big. What the hell, dude? What? <laughs> that thing was fighting like an eight pounder. It's like maybe three on a good day. Not even. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen dude, in my life. I literally thought I had hooked like an eight pounder or a catfish. All right, guys, I just hooked this one that's probably a three pounder, give or take, but like it literally felt like an eight pounder. I've never had a fish fight that hard in my entire life. Like that was pretty much like a northern strain smallmouth, like a 10 pound smallmouth fight. I, I like I couldn't explain what was happening. It felt kind of like a catfish, but it wasn't jumping. And like I, I just I don't I don't even know what happened, but still a nice solid fish, probably three pounds on that shaky head. Get, get back in the water. I mean, I get that it's not that deep, but still. If I catch one doing this, I'm gonna be real happy. I feel like I'm Kentucky Lake ledge fishing all day today at these ponds. Got him, I got him. Oh, he's way out there. Yeah, they're out there, I'm telling you. That was, look at it, it looks like a little better one too, maybe. Like compared to the pond average. There's some big ones in here, but yeah, that's a little bit better than the average fish in here. That's sick.
Okay, I'm gonna go get one. Alright guys, it's just kind of a alleged fishing pond kind of day. We're just bombing these Texas rigs out there. Chris is going to get his now too because he only had a frog with him. But I just missed one before this that felt pretty big and then I had another bite. So we're going to see if we get in, into some more ledge fish here. Oh my God, did you see that strike? Jesus, that thing killed it. Oh, he's in the weeds. Oh, it's a big one. It's a, it's a good one. Not a big one, I guess, but yeah. That thing almost ripped the rods out of my hand when I freaking smoked it. Oh. Well, yeah, if one spot's going to have him, this is the spot. So that's probably only not even two pounds, but that thing freaking killed it like a five pounder. Sweet frog. We've been ledge fishing all day. Now we're up shallow in the grass throwing frogs. Good spot to do it. Oh, not far enough. I need to get it in the drink. Got him oh across the pond. I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, he's digging though. God, he's digging. Oh, he's in the weeds. Oh, I don't know if I got him on still. I don't know if I got him on still. Watch out, let me get him up on the shore. <laughs> Where am I going with him? <laughs> it's just a clump of weeds, I think. I think he's gone. All right, comment now if you think I still have this fish on, because I really don't know. Let's see what we got. Say yes. yeah, there he is. Oh, there he is, seizing the cabbage. There we go, oh, barely hooked. He's got one tiny little hook in his mouth. Somehow managed to pull him through that cabbage right there, but another solid little pound and a half, pound and three quarter chunk way across the pond. Look at that. Look what we dragged in. We got more weeds than fish. Whew. All right, guys, we just wrapped up the whole pond deal. I just want to do a quick little outro telling you what we were doing and whatnot because it was a little bit different than a normal day pond fishing, especially in Illinois. But basically what we were doing is ledge fishing and most ponds have like two different ledges I'd say. There's one right up the bank, you have like probably a lot of ponds have rocks and stuff right up on the bank. Then there's one little dip right at the edge, usually it drops from like, I don't know, six inches deep down to like maybe two feet deep right there. And a lot of times you catch a lot of fish up on that shallow little ledge just kind of flipping the bank. But a lot of the bigger fish don't like to get up there unless it's early in the morning, late in the evening or springtime or whatever. But what we were doing is basically fishing that second ledge, which usually you got that first ledge, drops down right off the edge of the pond. Then you got a nice flat, probably about like three, four, maybe five feet deep. Then you got a secondary ledge in a lot of ponds where they dredged out the pond and then they pile up all the dirt up on the side or whatever. But that's usually, or at least in this pond, it drops from about three, four feet down to like eight to 10 feet. Right, right there, pretty sharp break. It's pretty much like fishing a little Kentucky Lake ledge, a little mini version of it. but. We were throwing shaky heads and Chris was throwing a little seven inch black and blue curl tail worm right off that ledge and just dragging it along the rocks down there. And we caught a lot of like solid two and three pound fish. Chris caught that one that was probably like a five pounder. My biggest off that ledge was like three pounds maybe, but it fall like a seven pounder for God knows whatever reason. And uh, after we did that ledge fishing at that pond, we fished another pond that I don't usually throw anything deep at all at, and we started bombing Texas rigs. We caught like three, and I think that I got those on camera, so it should be in here too. But that, that's a smaller ledge too. That one's way out, and it goes from like two feet to four feet. It's just one little dip, but they seem to be stacked right in front of them. We got like six or seven bites, but we had so much line out, it was really hard to get a hook set. And uh, then we did a little bit of frogging. And then Chris did something really cool. I'm going to make a separate video though, so it's not going to be included in here. But Chris actually hooked up. We saw a bobber floating around that seemed to have a fish on it because it was just swimming all around the pond. Chris managed to hook it. It's going to be pretty cool. So that video is coming next, probably like a day or two after this one. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode doing some ledge fishing at ponds. Pretty fun stuff. This is Dan's rod, by the way. If you saw, I found it. But yeah. Uh, thanks for watching guys. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys next time.